During the winter of 2012, we conducted an experiment. How much energy do we actually get from the sun? With less than two hours of sunshine per day, 26% of Danes have experienced winter depression, causing lack of energy. Når lys med en vis intensitet rammer vores øje, så mærker man den der indre kraft, der kommer. Og det er et velkendt fænomen, at lys virker antidepressivt. We wanted to measure this power. So we went to the Technical University of Denmark and built two solar charging dummies designed to represent the typical Dane. Each was covered with 3,130 flexible solar cells and batteries were placed inside their chests. Meet Søren and Ulrik. We sent them both on separate holidays for one week to find out just how much they would recharge. To make the experiment as fair as possible, we placed them in similar situations. After one week, we brought them back to measure their energy levels. The results surprised us. But what do these numbers mean for you? We developed some tests. Who is the most productive after their holiday? We connected CERN's battery from Gran Canaria. Now let's see Ulrich's performance. And then, the home test, where endurance is essential for a positive result. First, Ulrich. And now, with Sam's battery. So, does this mean that the Danes are actually solar powered? We are very much solar driven on the way that the sun is the biggest star that makes life possible. So, we can say that on the way we are solar driven. In conclusion, we discovered a space holiday compared to one in Denmark provides 101 times more energy. Scientifically proven.